good coach is someone who is a good listener, but can also be true to the player, be honest to the player. Me, for example, I'm, I'm working for the moment with, as you know, with, with Stan Wawrinka. Stan is paying my salary, but I am his boss. I cannot be too afraid to lose my job, that's for sure. You know, but sometimes I have to tell him things that he don't like. And in the long term, the players, they, they like this. So don't be afraid to be honest to the player. Someone who's always have a purpose with the training, effective training, and is always well prepared. Someone who thinks about the player first, always first, and doesn't have, not about his own ego. And with that I mean, for example, if I'm coaching a player, I always have to ask myself the question, is this good for the player? If the question, let's say that um, I work in, a, in an academy and I'm responsible for a junior. His name is Michael and he's going to go on a trip with another coach or he's going to go on a camp with another coach. Sometimes, you know, you don't want to send away your player to another coach because you might be afraid of lose, losing that player. But you always have to ask yourself, is this good for my player? Maybe the most important thing, be there for the player when the player is doing less good. I promise you, when your player is doing a good result, there will be so many people coming there and they want to be involved and they want to be seen and so on and so on. But it's the most important thing is to be there when the player needs you the most, when he's doing less good. Take a step forward and be really there because that's how you really create the bond between the player and the coach. When no one else wants to be there, even be there even more. Step in and create this bond between the player and the coach. That for me is a good coach.